Hey guys, Paul from Hashtag Sports. Before we get started, make sure you click that subscribe button, click that like button, and thank you so much for coming in. Anything that you want, drop in the comment section below. We read every single comment. And today's topic, what if experience really is the most important thing on this Buffalo Bills roster, and what would that mean for your starting offensive line? Hashtag Sports is proud to partner with Mr. Rogers Homes. Sean Rogers is a proud Western New Yorker and is now your Arizona relocation specialist. You can see his reviews as a top 1% agent on Zillow, Homes, and Trulia.com. Go ahead and download his free Arizona relocation guide found in the description of this video. Subscribe to his YouTube channel and, as Sean would say, God bless America and go Bills. Thank you again for joining. Uh, we want to thank our sponsor, Mr. Rogers Homes. Of course, you just saw that great videos featuring all those homes in Arizona, the golf, the hiking, the skiing, skiing in Arizona. Um, you can find Sean's stuff at the end of this video as well as the card above. So uh, go ahead and click that and make sure you give uh, Sean a sub. And if you're ever looking to relocate to Arizona. All right, so let's talk a little bit about what happens if the Buffalo Bills were to just go with the most experienced offensive line. What does that look like? Buffalo's made a lot of moves as far as the roster went at the beginning of the offseason, bringing in players who had uh, previously started, right? Uh, now, there's a large mix of rookies in here, so obviously they're going to be immediately removed from the conversation, but um, there's, a, there's a lot going on here with the offensive line. So let's go ahead and see uh, of the players that most people think your starting offensive line will be versus what happens if true experience were just to win out. What does that look like? And what would the Bills 2021 offensive line look like? Now, mind you, we saw a lot of different offensive lines throughout the course of last season through injury, attrition, poor play. Um, I don't think any of us want to relive the Brian Winters uh, experience again. Please, God, no. Most people have the Bills offensive line starting kind of like this. You have Deion Dawkins at left tackle. Uh, you have a sort of a mix of left guards. Um, some people are saying Butker. Some people are saying Lamp. Uh, some people are saying Cody Ford. Uh, that's your left guard. Um, Mitch Morris at center. You have no other centers even on the roster right now, according to BuffaloBills.com. Uh, often, John Feliciano is locked in at right guard. Uh, again, just common conversation. And then Daryl Williams at right tackle. But again, let's roll that back real quick because... That's not your most experienced offensive line. And when I say experience, I mean which offensive linemen have started the most games they were active. Now, we're not going to get into this crazy, well, Paul, they only played six games and they started all of them. We don't have any of that here, right? We're talking which players have started the most games in their career. And all of them, all of these guys who are going to be on the list have started more than one full season. Okay, well, you're not going to like it. We'll kind of start a little bit from uh, left to right. Uh, there's nobody more experienced at the left tackle position on this roster than Deion Dawkins is at this point. So Deion Dawkins is sort of the de facto number one, right? So over Dawkins' career, he started 64 games over four seasons. He started 59 of those games, which brings him to about 92% start rating, right? Okay, well, that's a perfectly fine spot to start with your left tackle. Well, now we have to start talking about that left guard position. And this is where things start getting a little hairy. Well, really, across debate, most people have the left guard position as pretty wide open anyway. The, you might not, you might be a little, little surprised as far as those percentages go. Uh, now, we're not talking specifically starting at the left guard position. Uh, we're just talking starting just in general across the offensive line. Uh, so if we're going to knock it down to the roster players, again, this is off of buffalobills.com, their listed roster there. Uh, you have Forrest Lamp, Mongo, uh, Jameel Douglas, Jordan Devy, and Ike Bucker are the only guys who have listed starts at the guard position. So it's not the deepest of groups, but at least they all have starts. Uh, the least would be Jamil Douglas, 23.9%. Uh, so we could basically eliminate him. Next would be Ike Bucker, who a lot of people have marked in as the starting left guard. Started 38% of his games. Again, almost all of that came last season. Well, welcome your starting left guard, 
Forrest Lamp, who started 73% of the games that he's played in, 18 of 25. Now, he did start the entire season last year for the Chargers, which is why he jumps up the list so quickly. Now, you move to center, and there's no other rostered center on buffalobills.com besides Mitch Morris. Um, you do have a couple guys who can play center. Ryan Bates can play center. John Feliciano can play center. Uh, so you have some support there if you do need it. When you move to right guard, again, the conversation is really funky. A lot of people just have Mongo listed in as their starting right guard. Or even Cody Ford. I've seen Cody Ford talked about as being your starting right guard. Okay. All right. That's that's fine, right? Now, mind you, Cody Ford is not listed as a guard on the roster. We're just going position for position exactly as listed on buffalobills.com. Now, Cody Ford is listed as a tackle on the Buffalo Bills roster there. So, again, if we're going to start looking at who should be playing and starting at that guard position, we start with uh, Mongo at 45% of the games that he's played in, 33 of 73. Well, that's not good enough to make this list. We already mentioned Lamp is your starting left guard, and that's because... Your right guard, say it with me now, is Jordan Devy, who started 47% of the games that he's played in, 21 of 44. So if we work left to right, here's where we are. Deion Dawkins at left tackle, Forrest Lamp at left guard, Mitch Morris at center, and Jordan Devy at right guard. Now, right tackle should be easy and locked in. It's Daryl... Might not be Daryl Williams. All right, let's back this up real quick. Your rostered tackles. So these are just the guys on the roster right now. There's only five with starting experience. We're, again, eliminating any rookies. Um, you have Daryl Williams, Bobby Hart, Cody Ford, Deion Dawkins, and Ryan Bates. Well, we already talked about Deion Dawkins. He's your starting left tackle. Ryan Bates has played in 24 games and has never started any. Zero starts for Ryan Bates, so he's out of the question as well. All right, well, let's talk about uh, Bobby Hart. Bobby Hart was brought in as somebody who started uh, a bunch of games in the past. Bobby Hart has started 66 of 79 games. That's 83.5%. That's a huge number. And exactly how you kind of expect, you know, McDermott and Brandon Bean to build, build out the roster, you get guys who have played. All right, so Bobby Hart's in the conversation. Darrell Williams has started 57 of 72 games. Well, that's 79%, which means that Bobby Hart right now is your starting right tackle. Except for Cody Ford, who has started 22 of 23 games that he's played. And yes, that's right. Cody Ford, the games that he's active, active, has only not started one of them. And I don't know what is a bigger seal of approval that uh, they are convinced that Cody Ford is a future in the NFL than starting basically every single game he's ever been active for. 95.6% for Cody Ford. Cody Ford is your starting right tackle. So while it's not ideal in a lot of Bills fans' world, and I, I understand that. Some of you may be thinking, Paul, I paused the video. I've thrown up all over myself. This is no way you're starting offensive line. I am not saying that it is. What I'm saying is that if it, if you always want to lay down, well, the Bills play the most experienced card, and I'm guilty of it. I've said this before. The Bills often lean towards experience. Well, if you're leaning towards experience, your starting offensive line is going to be Deion Dawkins, Forrest Lamp, Mitch Morris, Jordan Devy, and Cody Ford at right tackle. If you're talking about percentage of starts, the guys who started the highest percentage of games that they've been active for. Now, Cody Ford is the outlier there of the group. He's got the fewest in 23 games, but he started basically all of them. So we know that this organization has a tendency to be pretty stubborn. That's a chink in this argument. That's a chink in the armor in this argument. So uh, I'm still going to label Cody Ford as your starting right tackle in this scenario because this front office is incredibly stubborn. Now, I know you all have your own starting offensive lines. I want you to leave those down in the comments section below. Again, we read every single one of them. This is a huge roster right now with lots of moving pieces. And we're just removing all the rookies from this conversation. We know how this goes. Rookies really rarely even start. Uh, Cody Ford, again, is the outlier there. Uh, where Cody Ford started at right tackle. But, again, that was that whole Ty Niseki, Cody Ford, we're going to try and bring our guy along while we have this experienced guy here. And then, you know, that, that kind of exploded, right? But it's an interesting exercise, right? The highest percentage of starts should be your starting offensive line. It's, a, it's an interesting argument. I'm not. It's not the right one. 
but leave yours in the comments section below. Thanks again for following. This is Paul from Hashtag Sports. Again, hit that like button. Share this video with your friends. We have a lot of fun over here. Uh, Mario and I will be back with a live later this week, I'm thinking. Uh, and uh, I will talk to you guys all soon. If you haven't followed, go follow us on uh, Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok. Um, we, we're all over the place. Uh, bill season's coming up. Thanks again for joining us. Don't forget the hashtag charity tournament to benefit M25 Farms is coming up September 11th at Diamond Hawk. Uh, we will have all the details posted on our website, htagsports.com, as well as our Facebook page. We'll have a video here explaining how to sign up. If you want to sponsor that, uh, you're more than welcome to. All the money, 100% of the proceeds go to the charity. We're going to have a silent auction. Uh, we're going to do a show uh, after dinner or maybe even during dinner. Mario and I set up the cameras. We'll do a show right in the restaurant with all you guys. There'll be a riot. You can come down just for dinner if you want. Uh, come down, support M25 Farms, support hashtag sports charity. We love you guys. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good one.